Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to encourage you to find your seats so we can get our program be started. At Hodges University, we don't have one of those school bells that you ring. Maybe we should bring that back into vogue. Uh, it's an ideal. Dr. Brock, think about that. As we catch your attention, we would like you ask to have a seat, and we'll get our program started. We have a full uh, afternoon of uh, exciting and inspirational talk, and there is no intermission, so if you need to leave the room, please do so quietly. Uh, but we're going to get ourselves started here. Uh, let me introduce myself. I'm Dr. Ron Bowman. I'm the Vice President of Student Development at Hodges University. And I want to start my words of welcome today by speaking to our honored students tonight who are receiving these awards. We say welcome to you, to your spouses, to your significant others, to your employers, your supporters, and your classmates that are here today. If you're receiving an award today, would you please stand so we can see where you are? We want to start and warm up our hands. Thank you so much. Get used to that. You'll have a lot of that today. Uh, I also want to say welcome to our own people from our school, uh, to our uh, trustees that are here, to our president's council members, to our uh, president of our institution, Dr. Terry P. McNamara is here with us. We also have our executive vice presidents, our vice presidents, our deans, our program chairs, our faculty and staff. To all of you, welcome and thank you for coming out today. You all play such an important role in this journey of success for these students, and I'm sure they appreciate having you with us. We all know that these students do uh, a lot of time working on their homeworks. They have sacrifices. They have uh, employment that they're doing at the same time. So we'll be learning today their techniques and how they got to this point, how they became that cream of the crop for 2012. If you don't know this, this is our 15th year of having this recognition program, and I've had the uh, honor to be the host at each of these 15 years. I know looking around the room, there's other people who have been here for many of these, uh, and I won't ask them to raise their hands, but there are several that have. It's, it, you would think after 15 years that you get kind of jaded to these type of things, but I don't for this, because each year as we hear from our students, they're so inspirational what we learn from them, and each year it is an exciting program. I have no doubt that this will be the same way. One of the things that I've said every year to our uh, group is share the time fairly. There's quite a long program here today, so let's all remember that as we're coming to the stage. No thousand words, please. Save those for your essays. Uh, so at this point, I'd like to bring to the stage uh, Dr. Jeanette Brock. She is our Executive Vice President of Academic Affairs and our President-Elect for Hodges University. Let's give her a round of applause, Dr. Brock. Thank you, Ron. It is my pleasure to be here today to congratulate all of you on your achievements. I myself was an adult student, and I know the sacrifices you had to make to make it here today. You should be very proud of yourself. Your family should be very proud of yourself. And we want to share our congratulations with you today in this ceremony. So we're going to begin right away because, as Ron said, we have a long program. We're going to begin with the School of Allied Health. And what I am going to do is introduce the schools. And then as the program chairs come up, I would like them to introduce himself or herself to you with their title. So we're going to begin with Health Information Management. You know I hate that I always have to go first. <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon. My name is Professor Linda Kautz, and I'm the Program Chair for Health Information Management. Um, it is my honor to be here today to see all of you receive your awards. And it is my privilege to introduce our um, awardee, Greta Taylor. Um, Greta set her sights on attending Hodges HIM, and she's not looked back. Greta was raised in Fort Myers, but had been living in the Miami area with her husband and three children. She was enrolled in a health information management program over there. Suddenly, she found herself a widow um, after having moved back to the Fort Myers area in 2008 with her family um, to care for her elderly parents. 
she was then forced into position to decide what she was going to do to support her kids and herself. Um, she decided to attend the Hodges HIM program, and she has done a wonderful job. She had to repeat several classes she'd already taken with her program that she was in over in Miami, but she still persevered through it all. She threw herself into the whole learning experience, and um, through all this, she was even homeschooling her teen children. Um, she was able to find a way to make it through, uh, be very professional, and she is so eager to be a good professional. She's a value, valuable asset to the HIM profession. Greta says her motto is to keep my eye on the prize, and she plans on doing just that as she moves forward in life and in pursuing her bachelor's degree at Hodges. Greta. Thank you, Professor Kautz, and <clears throat> thank you for this very distinct award. I prepared a little few notes here just to share with you. Um, first and foremost, of course, I want to thank my professors, um, Professor Kautz and Susan Casey and uh, Dr. Harrison and Dr. Farhadi, who helped me with my English and of course, Hodges University for this most prestigious award. I'm very deeply honored and a little nervous <laughs> to be the first one. But um, it is said that life is not measured by the number of breaths you take, but by the moments that take your breath away. And this is one of those special moments for me. When I started this journey in pursuit of a health information technician degree, Never in a million years could I have imagined that it would take me to this place in time, standing here, receiving the Student of the Year Award. For all the late nights, weighty discussion boards, I don't know if I'm going to make it through the semester, to the why am I doing this blues. I got to say that, I got to say that it was worth it because my family, friends, and fellow students helped me to believe in myself and constantly challenged me to keep my eye on the prize. And what a nice surprise to be able to finish strong. I especially want to acknowledge and thank my two 21st century 10th and 11th graders, high school students, uh, my son Caleb and my daughter Kaylise, um, along with their sister, and my soon-to-graduate, in December, university student and oldest daughter, Kalia. Thank you for keeping me current, relevant, and focused. When I grow up, I want to be YBMF, translated in my modern day text lang language as your best mom forever. <laughs> as I continue to pursue my Bachelor's of Science degree in management. I am, finding to be, I am finding it to be quite the wheel to turn, but doable. It is in the context of this special moment that I am so inspired and motivated to continue to follow my dreams, keep my eye on the prize, and to be determined to finish strong. Thank you. Susan Schubert, our Health Administration Student of the Year for 2012, told me that her two children, both in college, are smarter than she is. They may be, but mom has set a very strong role model. Growing up, Susan wanted to be Perry Mason. Raise of hands. How many people know who Perry Mason is? Okay. 
We all have some gray that might be hiding a little bit, but Perry Mason inspired hundreds, if not thousands, of individuals to become attorneys. Well, Susan did that, but she also earned an MBA in finance, and then she finally got some, some common sense and figured out that healthcare was where she needed to be. And so Susan does practice law here in, in Collier County. And she enrolled in our, our Bachelor of Science in Health Administration in 2010. And she will be completing, um, uh, uh, hopefully, since she has one more semester this semester, with a 4.0. Earning A's in the online BHA is not something that is easy to do. She was actually nominated by two of our faculty. Dr. Larry Bosterman and Dr. Michael Cohen. Dr. Cohen said, Susan consistently raised the bar on the discussion board for other students to emulate. Her answers were complete, coherently presented, and completely researched. Her paper submissions consistently were complete, exceeding requested content, and always APA formatted. Susan's oral presentations were articulate and similarly well researched. Please join me in acknowledging Susan Schubert as the Health Administration Student of the Year. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Harrison, for all of those kind words. I did, as a, as a child, want to be Perry Mason. I saw every single Perry Mason episode. And I've actually had a Perry Mason moment when I was practicing law. But uh, in August of 2010, I decided to come to Hodges. And it, was an, it has been a, an amazing experience. There are so many people that I want to thank. Thank you, Dr. Harrison, for those kind words. All of the professors that I've had along this journey of mine have been so wonderful to me, so patient and kind because I had absolutely no background whatsoever in healthcare. So I was starting at a negative from my viewpoint. Uh, but I persevered and along the way in health administration, I had two uh, professors in particular, as Dr. Harrison mentioned, Dr. Larry Bosterman and Dr. Michael Cohen. And they endured endless emails at 2 o'clock in the morning where I was totally confused and totally had no idea what I was doing. But they, with their kind words and their help along this way, they have made this a fascinating journey, an interesting journey, and one that I would, uh, will treasure for the rest of my career. I also want to thank, in particular, the people in the administrative office in admissions. Because when I came here, I, I wanted to be in healthcare, but I thought, I really don't know anything. So help me, please help me in deciding what I need to do. So they were extremely helpful and extremely patient with me in making that determination of what courses to take and entering into healthcare. Also along the way, the people in the registrar's office were totally amazing. They got every single uh, class that I had taken in other schools and will allow me now to, um, to graduate in May. They were persevered and got all of my school records, which then, there are many of them. <laughs> so I want to thank them too. This has been a wonderful experience. I wouldn't trade it for anything. And I want to thank Hodges University, everybody that has been associated. It's been a, an amazing journey. Thank you so very much for this award. I will cherish it. Hello, my name is uh, Dr. Curtis Chapman, uh, Program Chair for Health Studies. And it's uh, my privilege to introduce the 2012 uh, Health Studies Student of the Year, Anita Patel. Um, Anita is uh, typical of many uh, Hodges University students, came uh, to Hodges kind of through a circuitous route. She was born uh, in the Caribbean, grew up mostly in Fort Lauderdale area. But when she was married, she moved to Kansas City with her husband, where they have uh, some businesses there. Uh, they moved back to uh, Florida in 2008. And um, Anita obtained a full-time job working at Chico's, the headquarters. But uh, although she's always been in business and banking, she wanted to uh, work in the 
medical field, so she came to Hodges to work on a BS in health studies with the goal of, of going to PA school and perhaps med school in the future, right? Um, but uh, when I sent out nomination uh, requests for health studies students, I immediately got two professors returned Anita's name. Um, she has a 3.8 overall in science GPA, which is pretty tough to do on its own, regardless of whether you have a full-time job and a couple of little kids running around at home. Um, but one of her professors said that she's hardworking, successful student, helps other students, tutors for Hodges, enthusiastic, loves science. What more can you ask for for a student of the year for health studies? Anita? Honestly saying, I feel a little overwhelmed with getting this award. So I'm going to begin first by saying that I am truly honored to be sharing today's award ceremony and celebrations with so many other Hodges students, the faculty, and all of our families. Um, today we celebrate the past year's hard work and efforts, not only of the students, but that of the faculty members who have strived to help us all succeed. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. said once, the function of education is to teach, to think intensively, and to think critically. Intelligence plus character, that's the goal of education. Within this past year, I've not met any one faculty member of Hodges University who does not truly believe these words. I accept this award today on behalf of everyone who believe in me and my efforts and who continue to support me. Most importantly, my family. Um, I want to give a special thank you to my husband, Sagar Patel, my children, Ariana and Sayan, and I cannot forget my parents, including my father-in-law, who have continually supported me through this past year. Um, they've given me all of the extra support that I've needed and for understanding the importance of truly reaching my goal. I do have to say that there is one professor here, and I know she's here today, Professor Mantel, who have continually supported me and given me that extra push that I've needed to get through this past year. Hopefully, I will have more classes with her <laughs> before the year ends. Thank you. Good afternoon. The Medical Assist Assisting Student of the Year is one of Naples' own she was born and raised in this area and has attended Hodges for just about two years now, wrapping up her last semester, this semester. This student has been one that's been actively engaged in her education, one that professors dream of. She challenges her peers and instructors. She has developed skills that she herself recognized she needed in order to succeed. Her work showed her effort by improving every step of the way each and every semester. She has developed her writing style, her research skills, and her ability to critically think. She is very well respected by her peers and was always willing to help a fellow student with any task. She would offer help whenever she saw the need. Whenever the new pr promotional materials came out for, the new, for our program, I knew the perfect student to represent my program. And she did so perfectly. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me a great pleasure to introduce to you the Medical Assisting Student of the Year, Ashley Pugh. Thank you. Um, two years ago when I started here at Hodges, I never thought that I would make it this far with the help of Dr. Von Austin, Dr. Harrison, and some of my other professors. They made this journey a little bit easier. I graduated back in 2001 in high school, and I didn't think I would make it this far. 
thanks to my professors and my family for being there for me the entire time. It's an honor to accept this award. I didn't think I would ever make it here. Thanks, everyone. We will now begin with the Johnson School of Business with the Accounting Award. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, as a new faculty member, I'm uh, so happy to be here today um, and, and uh, see this great look of, uh, looking group of uh, students uh, uh, receiving uh, and obtaining a well-deserved award. Um, and I'm also honored that uh, our business department uh, allowed me to present uh, today uh, one of the uh, art awards, the Counting Student of the Year Award to Laura Cordonis. Uh, when, what makes this award so special for us is that uh, uh, Laurel was uh, the most uh, outstanding uh, student from an elite group of uh, talented uh, accounting students that we have in our program. And I'm sure that all of them will make us proud one day. Um, Laurel was, uh, uh, actually impressed me, and she took a few classes uh, with me and also impressed uh, the other uh, faculty members in the accounting program. And she, she has so much analytical, analytical capacity. I don't need to tell you, uh, they wish uh, uh, mathematical capable to solve uh, uh, very difficult uh, problems. And uh, she was creative and assertive. And um, um, when I uh, confronted her with some methodologies uh, uh, to solve a problem, and uh, she had to decide which one to pick, she, she, she definitely excelled. Uh, she was great in her judgment. Uh, she never violated any of the standards or principles of uh, accounting. And uh, uh, she was a, a very uh, well-talented uh, student. Let me tell you a very short story about Laura. Um, I, I'm, a, I'm a practitioner auditor, I was. And uh, obviously as a faculty, we wanna try to help our students and put them in the position in which they can succeed when they go out there. Well, Laura, uh, excel in so many areas of accounting. And uh, one day she'd come to class early like she used to do. And uh, sometimes she was kind of quiet reviewing her work, uh, but sometimes she'd pick up. So those, uh, one day she'd come and ask me and said, you know, I want to make a career in the area uh, of taxes. Uh, it was a little shocking for me because I was an auditor practitioner. I really wanted to encourage her to uh, go in that area, but it was her decision. But one day, said, I asked her the reasons why she uh, wanted to go into that area. And she said, well, I don't believe that I have the qualities to become an auditor. Uh, and then we come and have a very long talk about qualities of auditors. And we actually went and reviewed some uh, um, job description up there. Well, three weeks after, uh, she come to class with a very happy face saying, you know what, I uh, uh, actually, uh, apply for a, a, to a multinational uh, company here in the area in the southwest and uh, for an internal auditing job and uh, I got the position. Uh, that's why I'm saying that, uh, that these uh, students, especially Laurel, will definitely make us proud one day. Uh, I'm very happy to introduce to you the Accounting Student of the Year Award to Laurel Cordonis. Unfortunately, she's not here today to receive the award. I will receive it in her behalf and make sure that we'll have her have it. Thank you very much. Good afternoon. Uh, I am Dr. Ashagul Timur, Chair of the uh, Business and Public Administration Programs. Um, on behalf of the Business Administration faculty, I am honored to introduce Mrs. Jacqueline King as the Business Administration Program Student of the Year of 2012. She is originally from the Boston, Massachusetts area and relocated Fort Myers about eight years ago. Academically, she has achieved the Dean's Honors List 
every eligible term at Hodges for the last two and a half years. I just heard from the faculty members that she's an excellent writer and she's an expert on APA style. As you know, it's big in our programs. Professionally, she has co-owned and operated a family auto repair business prior to um, moving to Florida, and most recently, before enrolling at Hodges, owned and operated her own fitness company in the Fort Myers area. She's an entrepreneur. She has done volunteer work for the Girls on the Run program in Charlotte County, which is a, transform a transformational learning program for eight to eight, uh, eight to 13 year old girls. The program teaches young girls to unleash confidence through accomplishment while embracing a lifetime appreciation of health and fitness. She currently participates in the Big Brothers Big Sisters program in Lee County and she is a big sister to a wonderful 10-year-old girl whom she spends time each week. Please join me congratulating Jacqueline for all her accomplishments and being recognized. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Timor, Hodges faculty, fellow students, friends, and family. I'm truly honored to be here today to accept this award. And nervous, but, um, <laughs> you know, enrolling in college to obtain my degree um, is a dream that I've held for many years. Um, however, circumstances in my life uh, prevented me from doing that for a very long time. However, once I made the decision to pursue that dream and visited Hodges, I knew right away this was the place for me to choose to achieve that goal. Everyone here always made me feel so comfortable and instilled such great confidence in me throughout the time here. Um, I've approached my studies here as I strive to do everything in my life, and that is with determination diligence, dedication, commitment, perseverance. And I have, the result of that has been that not only has my time here proven to be a very rewarding experience, both from an academic standpoint, but also from a personal growth standpoint as well. And it's with that in mind that I would like to thank all of those that have been there to help make it such a positive and rewarding experience. I'd like to thank the students that I've attended classes with, work with, and learned from. All of the professors that I've had that have encouraged and supported me along the way, they truly have been great teachers. And most of all, my devoted husband, Chuck, who's in the audience with me today, for always standing beside me and encouraging me on this journey. I'm so grateful to all of you. Thank you, I'm so honored to accept this award. Good afternoon, I'm Joe Ahern and I'm the program chair of the management department. And it is my pleasure to tell you a little bit about the student of the year, Regina Sousa, for the management program. John F. Kennedy said, some men see things as they are and say why. And some men see things as they are and say why not. Regina Sousa is that type of individual. She was the first in her family to achieve a bachelor's education 
while going to school full time. She worked full time. She's a member, a systems analyst administrator for the nonprofit organization Redlands Migrant Christian Association for 20 years. And as a student, she exemplified leadership capabilities. She had a vision, she had a passion for learning, she applied herself full time. She also mentored her peers, her students, they could come to see her. She encouraged new students as they came and joined the classes. Then she went back with her skills and abilities to her organization and created learning opportunities. And as she once told me, she has a passion for helping the low-income families that go to RCMA. And her passion for 20 years is to empower and assist these families for better lives. And I can honestly say that she is a true leader and she exemplifies those qualities. On her spare time, what little there is, she's an avid New England's Patriots fan and a Red Sox fan. So she might be sitting home for the Super Bowl this year, but she camped out three days for those Red Sox tickets and she'll be there cheering on her team as she has cheered on her fellow employees and her students, and that's the type of person Regina Sosa is. Join me in congratulating her in this achievement as Student of the Year for the Management Program. Afternoon. I was impressed with what she just said. Um, I'm so honored to be here today. I can't um, explain the gratitude that I have towards Professor Hearn. She has been a mentor and guided me throughout the entire program, and I can't say enough good things about her. I also want to thank my family for always encouraging me. <laughs> um, one of the key things that Professor Hearn always told me was breathe, so right now I need to breathe because <laughs> I'm very nervous. Um, I'm, I'm very happy that I went to Hodges. I know many graduates and I kept driving by and thinking, oh, there it is again. <laughs> but I finally stopped and I was able to accomplish what I set out to do and I'm very, very happy. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Dr. Nancy Wyan, and I'm the Dean of the Johnson School of Business. First off, I'd like to congratulate each and every one of the students here today accepting their awards. And I'd like to acknowledge that you all have many qualities in common. The person that I'm about to, to speak of, uh, Tim Cornelius, has just about the same qualities, only in a different way. Although many of you came to school after work, after working a full day with family responsibilities and other responsibilities, Tim did the same thing. But Tim generally came to school on Saturday morning after being up all night working for the Collier County Sheriff's Department on the road, making sure that he and everyone else got home safely then to come to class and spend time with me or other professors working on his degrees. Tim is one of those special people that you know as soon as you get in your class. I had kind of run into Tim when I didn't know him in the building in Naples, and I knew that he was a graduate of the um, management program, but I didn't know that he was enrolling in the master's program. So when I first met him, I really didn't know him. But within the first class, we made a connection. And trust me, every faculty member here maybe won't say it, but will tell you honestly that when you find students like you 
that you connect with, who want to learn, who want to be there, who help other people learn, who lead the way. It makes the experience so much more wonderful for all of us. And the reason your faculty is here is because we love to teach and we love to connect. Connecting with Tim, teaching Tim, mentoring Tim, watch him mentor other people, lead other people, watch him learn and grow has just been the best experience for me. Tim, you're a wonderful person. I've enjoyed knowing you, listening to your stories, watching you help your fellow students. And please accept this honor today of Student of the Year of the Master's in Management program. Tim also dreams big. He brought his own rooting section today, at least one whole table. Um, thank you. I, I, when I got the email saying that I had uh, been nominated and got the award, um, I was speechless, which for the people that I've, I've been with uh, in class or is with my professors, they know that's just not who I am. The people I work with, I, I didn't know even were going to be here. Um, that's not who I am. I mean, I, I, I don't want really to don't shut up. Um, <laughs> and I'm not nervous so much being up in front of people. I do that a lot. Um, it's just when you hear people talk about you and say nice things about you, you don't realize that you, know, that you do all that, I guess. Um, I have thoroughly enjoyed the time I've been at Hodges. I'm hoping they get the uh, doctor program. I'd like to come back for that if I can afford it. Um, I, I just love Hodges. I, I went to Edison. I, I, I waited 15 years. I was on the, the uh, long-term plan there to get my degree, um, 15 years. But uh, I finally got that done and went on uh, to Hodges. And the reason I came back for the master's program was because the bachelor's program is so awesome. Uh, you, it, unless you've been a student here, you just don't understand the, the mentoring and the, uh, the time that the instructors spend with you and, and the coaching and stuff that they do, especially with the papers and everything. And the students are phenomenal. Um, to stand up here and get an award as you know, the, the student of the year, when you consider all the other students that you have to work with every single day in class, is, speaks volumes. I mean, it's just unbelievable because any one of those people could have been here. So I thank everyone. I thank my family, my wife, and my kids. Um, Stand behind me. Sorry, <laughs> I shouldn't be the one. Um, <laughs> because I do work a lot of hours, but when I come home, all my time is taken up with this college, and I sit at the kitchen table with my dog, <laughs> doing all my papers. And uh, you just don't you don't appreciate the time and the sacrifice that they lose when we're not around. Um, so thank you to all my family for my mother-in-law. <laughs> Hello everyone, I am back again. At this time, on behalf of the Business Administration graduate faculty, I am honored to introduce Mr. William Ficklestaller II as the Master of Business Administration Program Student of the Year of 2012. He graduated from Naples High School and was a member of on the first football state championships team. Shortly after graduation, he joined to the United States Marine Corps in the summer 2001. In the delayed entry program prior to September 11, with parental approval since he was not of age. Soon enough, he was deployed to Kuwait and was part of the initial push to, into Iraq to take control over the country. Although he was already appreciative, his service overseas reinforced what it meant to appreciate each day and to value the gift of life. In the first tour, he was a part of an infantry unit and head headquarters company, then came back home, and in the second tour, he was deployed to Faluwa in Iraq, which was a different deployment. Again, he was fortunate to come home to pursue other goals. 
In addition to satisfying a personal need to serve our country, he had future goals. He attended Manatee Community College of Sarasota and obtained his associate degree in one year. He moved on to attend University of South Florida, where he finished a bachelor's, of, um, a bachelor's degree in another year. He met his wife and best friend in his first semester at USF. After finishing schools, they moved to Naples, where William took on the role of a purchase contract coordinator at Specialist in Urology. His role is to oversee company-wide purchases to include medical equipment, maintaining service, and maintenance contracts for medical equipment for all 13 of their locations. Among all his responsibilities, he is also a volunteer. He has been actively involved in others, such as annual prostate cancer awareness run, Relay for Life, and the Boys and Girls Club. He has also attended events as a veteran at Hodges, including several flag raising ceremonies. He decided to further himself in his personal and eventually professional goals by applying to the MBA program at Hodges University. He defines the program challenging, I think we met our goal, but enjoyable nonetheless and maintains a 4.0 GPA. William would like to utilize his advanced degree to professionally establish himself within the healthcare management industry as knowledgeable, experienced leader who cares about his employees, colleagues, and those in need of healthcare. He's a very accomplished person at a young age. Please join me congratulating William for all his accomplishments and being recognized. William. Thank you, Dr. Tumar. What an honor. I would like to take this opportunity to thank my best friend and my beautiful wife, Carolina. For all of her love and support, I also would like to thank my grandparents. who are the foundation of our family, my parents, and my close friends, some of whom are here today. I would also like to thank the faculty here at Hodges University for selecting me as the MVA Student of the Year. I would also especially like to thank the Veterans Program and the University for its outstanding commitment to our veterans. The MBA Program has truly been engaging. Thank you very much, and congratulations to the other recipients. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Dr. Charles E. Hart. I'm the Vice Chair of the Master of Public Administration Program. And it's my pleasure today to introduce the MPA Student of the Year. Like many of our students, she has a very interesting background. She was born and raised in Albania and Eastern Europe, where she lived with her family. She has lived in Florida for the past seven years. After the move, at only age 15, she became responsible for many family functions since her parents did not speak English. She's had two major goals in her life, education and law enforcement. Encouraged by a high school counselor, she entered the criminal justice field in Collier County and since, 19, or since 2006 
She has been a certified corrections deputy at the Naples Jail Center in charge of the care, custody, and control of the subjects detained at that facility. Often she worked the overnight shift, balancing her personal and professional lives while at the same time pursuing her education. Starting in 2007, she embarked on fulfilling her educational goals, first obtaining an associate's degree from Edison State College, then a bachelor's degree in criminal justice from Florida Gulf Coast University. She had a sense of punishment because she got a second bachelor's degree <laughs> in business management from Florida Gulf Coast. She entered the MPA program at Hodges in 2011 finishing this past December. But she's not done yet. She's been accepted into the Ave Maria School of Law and will begin her legal studies there next month. I've had this student in a number of public administration classes during her time in the program. I've always found her to be a dedicated and conscientious student, one who was always eager to learn and participate. She finished the program with a 4.0 GPA, despite dealing with some personal adversities in the past year. While I perhaps have had students who excelled more academically, I have never had a student who had a better attitude and took personal charge and responsibility for her own destiny, qualities I believe are equally important in a candidate for student of the year. In 2012, she was inducted into Sigma Beta Delta International Honor Society, and she has received a number of commendations in her professional life. Her dreams in education and law enforcement have indeed come true. Please welcome the MPA Student of the Year, Irita Hajiu. Hope I got that right. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Ehard. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. First, I would like to thank Hodges University and the MPA program leaders for an amazing learning experience that I will carry with me for the rest of my life. I find myself extremely honored to be receiving such an important award, the MPA Student of the Year for 2012. I'm sincerely grateful for this recognition I've received for my work because I'm very sure that many other students of this great university were as capable of winning this award. I have faced several challenges on my way here, but each has only strengthened me to be the person I am now here today. A thorough professional who knows exactly what she wants, someone who sets her eyes on a goal and does not take them off unless it's achieved. This award could have not been achieved without the inspiration I have received from my strong support system, my friends, my family, my professors, and the leaders I have looked up to whom I have deep respect and from whom I've derived the strength to challenge myself and perform better at each stage. It was not my sole effort alone that brought me here today. I would like to make a special mention to a professor, Dr. Hehart, who has been my mentor throughout the program. He never failed and never missed an email of me asking why I had received a 95 or a 96 and what had I missed to receive my 100 so that I wouldn't do the same thing on the next assignment. Thank you, Dr. Ehart, for putting up with me. As I close my remarks and move on to the next stage of my educational and professional career, I wanted to take a minute and thank my support system who's in the back. Thank you very much to each and every one of you for helping me and reaching this point where I can proudly stand in front of you holding up this award as a mark of my achievement. Thank you again. We will now have the awards for the Nichols School of Professional Studies, starting with Applied Psychology. Good afternoon, students, family, and colleagues. I am Aubrey Harwood, Program Chair of the Nichols School of Professional Studies Applied Psychology Program. 
Before I present Nathan with this award, I would like to say a few words for those of you who have not had the pleasure of knowing Nathan as we do. I'd like for you to please turn to your program. Everyone has one. On page four of your program, you'll see a picture of Nathan on the right-hand column. Let's carefully look at the spelling of his name. His first name is Nathan with an H, not Nathan. His last name has three T's, not two. Many spell it with two T's, making it look like petty theft. <laughs> His name is not Nathan Petty Theft. Nathan is actually a giver, not a taker. Now that we have cleared that up, let's explain the journey of Nathan Pettit as I understand it. As Nathan's academic advisor, we have shared many conversations and emails about where he wants to end up on his educational and career journey. To understand where he is going, I first understand where he had been. Nathan shared with me that prior to attending Hodges, he was traveling a road that potentially could have led him to a path much different than where he sits today, receiving this award. As an applied psychology major, Nathan plans to counsel others who may be struggling with choosing a path when they too have come to a fork in the road as Nathan did. As a straight A student here at Hodges, you may fi also find Nathan walking next to the Hodges float at the annual Edison Festival of Lights parade. He can be found assisting new students at orientation or tending to the fire as grill master for our Psychology Club hot dog fundraising events. He also recently participated in the Breast Cancer Awareness Walk, and it wouldn't surprise me if he donned a pink bra that day in support of the survivors. Did you wear a pink bra? Uh, I don't remember. You don't remember. <laughs> He's pleading the fifth. Nathan brings a sense of humor to the applied psychology program, both in and out of the classroom. Professor Kelly Boucher says he is bright, compassionate, and promises to bring a great deal to the field of psychology. Dr. Mary Nusi, director of the Clinical Mental Health Counseling Program, reiterates that Nathan would bring a tremendous amount of life experience, as well as what he has learned in the classroom, to the master's program, if he so chooses to continue his education in a year or so when he graduates. You see, Nathan has a zest for helping others and giving back to the community. Nathan recently shared a story that he sat on the curb talking with a stranger in need who just needed an ear. As he sat in front of that red box, you know, the one that spits out movie rentals, he realized that indeed his purpose in life was to help others. Even if he takes, even if that takes being present in that moment for two hours or more. As I respectfully present this award to Nathan Pettit, not to be confused with Nathan Petty Theft. On behalf of the Applied Psychology Program, I would like to thank you, Nathan, for choosing the road that allows him to live a life where he gives more than he takes. Thank you, Professor Arwin, for an amazing introduction and the whole Nate Tom story. Um, and a special thanks to the entire faculty here at Hodges University for taking the time to recognize each of, each of us today. I honestly could not pick a better institution to contain my education than Hodges University. <coughs> to each of my professor, professors in the Applied Psychology program, Dr. Hoffman, which isn't here today, but Dr. Nusi, Professor Boucher, Professor Harwood, and Jean, who's a TA. It's an absolute honor to be chosen by individuals such as yourselves, who I hold such high regard for. Each of you has been instrumental in my uh, academic success as well as my personal growth. And it's hard to put into words how much I appreciate this recognition. I'd also like to uh, recognize Reva Wharton, <laughs> who's our librarian because without her, I would have had trouble with APA. From the first time I started at Hodges, she, she got me right on APA-style writing. 
and I've improved ever since, hopefully. Um, our Dean of Students, where is she? Dr. Turner, for helping me to acclimate to my new environment since day one in IDS. And also Professor McCreary, who, who helped try to help me fine tune my speaking skills. I'm still nervous every time I get up in front of people, so. <clears throat> to my mother, who's here today, thank you for helping out with the kids. When I'm working, going to school, you've been a big help, and you know I love you. Okay, um, to my father, who can't be here today, he's always been a beacon of light in my life, so thank you, Dad, if, some, if one of you is recording this. He's gonna see it. <laughs> um, to my children, Devin, Ariel, and Tyler, you're my motivation to keep going. I come back to school for you, I do everything for you. So I hope that one day you can go back and look on this and it'll inspire you to keep going no matter what obstacles you may face. I love to both of you, both all of my art, I want you to know that. And lastly, I'd like to accept this in honor of my Uncle Joe who passed away on April 20th, 2011. By watching him, I've learned that there's two key factors to success. It's positive outlook on life and perseverance. His teachings ring true today. So thank you, Uncle Joe, and I miss you every day. So with that, uh, I look forward to continuing my future here at Hodges University, and I'm extremely grateful for this award. Thank you. Uh, my name is Dr. Bill Grizz, and I'm the chair of the Interdisciplinary Studies Program here at Hodges. I was noticing earlier there's a lot of people here. This must be a very important celebration, eh? You do know that, that you're missing the Swamp Buggy Finals <laughs> down on 951 and, and uh, uh, Rattlesnake Hammock. Yeah, roll it up. Uh, in competition, by the way, with uh, the Mullet Festival down at Stands on Goodland. <laughs> this is quite the place to be. Let me tell you a quick little story as a way of introducing the IDS Student of the Year. It involves swamp buggy racing, in fact. Uh, about oh, two or three years ago, I think it was, my wife and I took my, uh, her parents, my mother-in-law, um, to the swamp buggy races for the first time. And my mother-in-law, is, is a, she's a lovely woman, and I get a great deal of mileage out of telling stories about her. We're sitting in the grandstand, and uh, the racers are coming by. We're on, we're on this straightaway. And she and my father-in-law forgot to, to bring their camera. So she leaned over and she said to me, you better take a lot of good pictures. And I said, okay, I will. And she said, take a picture of that guy over there. He looks like he's really Florida. And I said, okay. And I look, and here's a gentleman sitting down uh, 15 feet away or so with uh, cowboy boots and Levi's and a flannel shirt and bandana, hair about my color, except about this much longer and a ponytail. So I take a picture of him, and uh, we have a fine time there at the Swamp Buggy Races. And on the way out, now if you've never been there, by the way, the, the, the parking lot is crammed full of half million dollar 60 foot RVs, okay? So on the way out, we, we run into this gentleman again, and, and here he is getting into probably a $150,000 Porsche Carrera. And I turned to my mother-in-law and I said, Jerry, you can't always figure out who is who here in Florida, you know that. I tell you that story as a way of introducing Jean Comper, our IDS student of the year, because you, you can tell who Jean is. Dr. Wyatt mentioned walking into a classroom and, and seeing a student who you know you're going to connect with. And Jean is, the, is that type of student, he's that type of person. He is transparent, open, and he wears his heart on his sleeve. 
He is the youngest of three children, uh, comes from a family of uh, highly trained and educated professionals. And after uh, finishing his IDS degree here at Hodges, he plans on continuing on in information technology. So with that, I'd like to welcome the IDS Student of the Year, Jean Comper. All I can say is, wow. <laughs> I never expected to actually be up here receiving an award, especially for Student of the Year. I'm definitely grateful for it. And I have my parents to thank for it, my family, friends, and my unborn child and girlfriend. And I um, just want to thank the faculty here at, Sta at Hodges University for all their support, because they have always supported me no matter what. I've always had got emails that said, hey, um, you know, do you need help? Or just things just pushing me, saying congratulations on finishing your semester. And that has always pushed me. I've never attended an institution that does that. And that gave me more motivation to go further. I remember the first time I actually met Dr. Grizz. He actually, it was at student orientation after he introduced the WEA program. He scared me by the time he got done. I was like, what did I get myself into? I can't believe like, I'm going to do this. But after all said and done, I, I started the classes with him, and he was an awesome teacher. He, always, he never put me down. He always pushed me to go and do better. Like, everything that I did was never good enough. It was always like, hey, next time you got to push. You got to get, you got to strive for the best. And I clicked with them, and I definitely appreciate that. And I started Hodges in 20, 20, 2011, so one year of intensive classes and going to school, not school, uh, working full time was very difficult and hard. I thought at one point I was going to give up, but I just kept my head up, and I wanted to, a better future for myself. So I'm definitely grateful to. Um, everybody at Hodges and my family for all their support and thank you everybody thank you good afternoon everyone I'm dr. Pat Gordon I'm the director of the master's in professional studies program Joe Grock is a proud MPS student with an interdisciplinary specialization. When Joe registered for a graduate uh, course called Introduction to Technology Tools and Management, this is how he introduced himself to his fellow students. As the world's oldest living student at age 54, I hope that my ancient and cholesterol-infested brain can survive this course. <laughs> I am a member of the PGA of America and director of, the, of golf at the Glades Golf and Country Club in Naples, Florida. I'm working toward my Master's of Professional Studies degree. I'm pursuing this degree because I've been asked to teach part-time at the Florida Gulf Coast University Professional Golf Management Program. My goals for this course are to enhance my skills as a teacher, both at my place of work and at FGCU. Specifically, I would like to improve my teaching and technical skills, but also explore my understanding of educational philosophy and theory. Joe became an exemplary student in instructional technology, posting an instructional video on improving one's golf swing on his blog blogger site. He's also been an exemplary team member to fellow students. His teammate in interpersonal communication and leadership, Frank Perismas, commented on the consulting project they did for a local organization. Frank said, I honestly believe that working with Joe has been a tremendous experience, both from the learning and professional aspect of the presentation. Uh, he was always there to answer emails or phone calls, the latter being our main avenue of communication due to schedule conflict. Last summer, after encouragement from Dr. Susan Smith, he decided to continue his research into the relationship between satisfaction among constituent groups and successful operations of golf communities by taking a directed study course to investigate the causes of declining revenues experienced by the golf course industry over the last seven years. The class was a combination of study, research, and applied statistics. 
His study, which confirmed the centrality of satisfaction, has been submitted for publication, and a brief synopsis of the research appears in the January issue of the MPS Communicator, the newsletter of the MPS program. The article called Satisfaction, a Path to Success for the Golf Industry has been accepted for presentation at the 2013 Mustang Academic Conference in Las Vegas, Nevada on uh, February 21st to the 23rd. The proceedings of this will be published in the International Journal of Economics and Social Science. For all of these reasons, it has been my pleasure to name uh, Joseph Grock as uh, MPS Student of the Year. Thank you, Dr. Gordon, for those kind words. Um, first off, as a golf professional, I feel like I've just won the green jacket. So, <laughs> I'm just going to repeat a lot of what you've already heard, and that is um, to thank the professors here at, at Hodges University. They are without a doubt the finest professors, teachers, administrators that you'll find anywhere in this country. Um, a special thanks to uh, Dr. Smith uh, for her help and guidance in helping me get published. Um, also like to thank uh, my lovely wife, Gina, for her encouragement. Uh, also like to thank um, my boss, Audie Berger, who without his unwavering support, I wouldn't uh, be standing here. And the thing about the Hodges experience that I'd, I'd like to share with you all, and I think that the students here will, will support me when I say this. It's not so much what the professors here give us in terms of education, but it's what they allow us to do in giving back in terms of academics, in terms of uh, our profession, and in terms of our, our civic responsibility. And it is for that that I am really most grateful. Thank you. Good afternoon, it's a full house today, and it is a good afternoon. It's good to stop and take time to recognize those who have achieved so much, so many students that deserve so much. General Patton was big on parades and ceremony and giving out awards, and I think he was a pretty good leader. I think Hodges has followed a good example. As some of you know, I'm gonna be stepping down as program chair in the near future. I've been program chair for 22 years. That ain't easy, folks. I've already turned over a lot of my responsibility to Dr. Weil. He'll be doing a great job. I've trained him well. Right? Right. <laughs> but I reserve this, this privilege to myself because the recipient is Scott Ballard, and I wanted to say a few words about him. First time I met Scott, he was in Intro to Law. We, behind your back, called you Big Arm Scott for a reason. He was bold. He was brash. He was loud. He was opinionated. Yada, yada, yada. He continued to go on and challenge everybody. Academically, he was always the top of his class. He was brilliant, uh, straight A student, challenging. We couldn't do enough for him. Yada, yada, yada. He's been accepted to several law schools. He's even gotten scholarships, substantial scholarships to some of them, and he's still deciding which one he's going to go to. Possibly Ave Maria with a very good scholarship. He is smart, but you know all the recipients up here are smart. Everybody in this room is smart. There's something else that makes him outstanding and makes him the student of the year for that, and there's two reasons. The first is he is a Marine. We've often heard once a Marine, always a Marine, and I have not found that to be true. I have known many former Marines and ex-Marines and Marines that were not worthy of being called a Marine, but he is still today. Even after deployment in the wars, he's come home with his sanity, I think. But he embodies all those qualities and characters that, that you'd want in a, in a Marine. He's got honesty. The second ring, reason is his integrity. This man is honest. He says what he thinks. You can believe what he says. 
and there is no doubting where his mind is at any given time. Let me conclude by saying that Scott Ballard is not just to me the, the student of the year. In my 22 years, he's the best. Scott? Thank you, Dr. Hodge. It is a uh, privilege to be here and uh, to be accompanied by my escort today. <laughs> he, uh, he told me he was coming up and there wasn't much I could do about it, so here he is. Um, but it's fitting that he would be here with me. He has been uh, one of the many justifications and motivations in my life to be here, to return to school at a later time and as a non-conventional student to uh, date myself a little bit. Uh, I grew up as a child watching Perry Mason with my grandmother, who uh, she, he was one of her favorites, and she kind of imposed that on me. So it's only fitting that I finally find my way to law school. It's also fitting that uh, on today, the 27th of January, I'm here to share this with my parents, who uh, it's their anniversary. Thank you very much. And uh, who have also been extremely helpful and focused me quite a number of times when it would have been easier just to go, you know, I've got other responsibilities that I've got to take care of. So thank you for that, uh, as well as Lennon's mom, Mariana, who could not be with us, be with us here today. But uh, I thank her for her, her driving force as well. Nietzsche said that uh, the trouble with humanity is that people go through life like mountain climbers scaling a mountain. And I think, Dr. Weil, you can uh, appreciate this. They get focused on the, the peak rather than enjoying the view on their way up. Um, I have been fortunate enough not to abide by that because here at Hodges, everybody has been extremely helpful and has been there to be part of that scenery that got me to this point and kept me driving to, to law school. So I thank you, Dr. Hodge, Dr. Brock, you've been helpful, Dr. Bowman, everybody that I have come in contact with here for no matter what the issue or need was, was immediately available, so I thank them all. Um, and I think that's all I have. Thank you. Do you have anything? No? Okay. Let's go this way. I am very excited about this award because it's the first award for the Master of Legal Studies program. It's a new program we have at Hodges University. And a student of ours in the bachelor program, Vanessa Starsky, had said, if you ever start a master's program, let me know because I want to be one of the first to sign up. She graduated with her bachelor's degree. And I remember giving her an email, sending her an email, saying, Vanessa, the time has come. We do have a master's in legal studies program. And she was the first one to sign up. Likewise, she told me, I'm going to get a 4.0. I want to make sure I have a perfect GPA while I'm in the master's program. And she ended up having a perfect 4.0. She graduated. And what's really exciting about Vanessa, we've talked about how busy everybody is being full-time students full-time workers, parents, et cetera. Um, you can add to that, Vanessa's been active in the legal studies program, and she has her own business on top of everything else. So she's extremely busy. She works hard at things. There are those times when she said, all right, I'm almost done here. I, I don't know if I can handle any more. But she's shown that you can persevere. If you put your mind to it, work hard at it, you will succeed. And therefore, Vanessa, I would like to give this award to you. When I received the email that I had been nominated for this award, I was in complete shock. Because when I started my academic career, I just wanted to finish. 
I just wanted to get through it and I wanted to be done and I wanted to say that I did it. And um, when I received the email that said, you're going to be the student of the year, um, I didn't know how I did it. I didn't understand why me. Um, but I kind of got past that really fast and found an enormous <laughs> amount of gratitude. Um, because it was difficult. It was difficult because I really did not know what I was getting myself into. I was like, this is awesome. There's the master's program. I'm going to be the first one that signs up. And then they gave me this enormous research paper assignment. And that was almost it right there. Um, because for those of you that are in the legal studies program, whether it's at the master's level or the undergrad level, um, you know that our formatting is not APA. So when you're used to writing legal memos and legal briefs and you know things like that, and they say, here you go, and it has to be APA formatted, you kind of go, what? And um, I, I finally mastered APA in my very last semester here at Hodges University. <laughs> So I'm, I'm grateful for that, but um, I didn't get here, I didn't get here by myself. Um, Dr. Weil was an amazing form of support here at the university um, because the words I quit came out of my mouth at least four times every semester. And um, on top of that, I have, um, I have my two kids who couldn't be here And they definitely, they definitely were very supportive in the fact that when they would say, Mom, can we do something today? And I said, I got to write a paper. I said, okay. And they never got mad, and they never slammed the door, and they never rolled their eyes, and, you know, do those things that teenagers do. Um, and I've also had, I think my biggest form of support has been my fiancé and my best friend, who is sitting over there, who, uh, really, really tolerated the insanity that comes with being a full-time student and parent and employee. And um, when I submitted my final paper in my last semester, I told, I told Tony, I said, I'm done, school's over, and he said, thank God. <laughs> so, um, so I really, I really couldn't have done it. You know, I have a lot of friends out there that aren't here today. Um, there's faculty members. I've spent hours with Dr. Hodge in my undergrad studies because I did not know how to write a legal paper at all. Um, so there, there have definitely been a lot of people that have paved the way for me to be here today. And I'm still kind of in a state of shock because I'm not, I, I don't look at myself as something special. I'm just your average student. And um, I'm standing here in front of you today with this award just kind of flabbergasted that I was one of the ones that got chosen. So, um, you know, I'm just, I'm just gonna leave with saying to my fellow students that whatever path you're on, um, just keep going because it's gonna get hard and you're gonna wanna quit and you're just gonna wanna throw your hands up in the air and say, why did I decide to do this? But in the end, it's completely worth it because at this point in my life, you know, I've been able to secure a job in my own field of study. I am a paralegal for a criminal defense firm now, and I am currently working on becoming, hopefully, a professor here at Hodges University in the next year or so. Um, that's my goal, and hopefully one day I'll be able to hand this to one of my own students. So, thank you. Good afternoon. I'm Dr. Karen Locklear, and I am the Dean of the Nichols School of Professional Studies. On behalf of the criminal justice faculty, it is my pleasure to introduce the undergraduate criminal justice student of the year, Mr. Kenneth Worthy. Ken earned his associate degree at Hodges and is currently working on his bachelor's degree in the criminal justice program. Ken's educational accomplishments go all the way back to the 1980s when he first began taking classes in the Army. He served our country for 22 years as a combat engineer and earned the rank of Sergeant First Class. Ken's daughter, Tia Mora, who is going to start Hodges 
in May. And granddaughter, Tiana, who I'm sure will start Hodges in a couple years after that, are here today to see him receive his award. After getting out of the Army, Ken worked in the security services field for eight years prior to enrolling at Hodges. When I asked the faculty, what makes Ken the ideal candidate for this award, they responded that he is very intelligent, works extremely hard, and will do anything to help his classmates who are struggling with an assignment or, it, or are in need of encouragement. When I spoke with Ken recently, the things that impressed me the most were his humility and his positive approach to life. Ken is a lifelong learner. I have no doubt that Ken will be successful as he pursues his bachelor and advanced degrees. As important as Ken's successes are to him, possibly even more important to him are the successes of those who he has mentored and encouraged along the way. The criminal justice faculty is very proud of Ken and wish to honor him with this award. Come on up, Ken. Welcome, everybody. This is not like talking to a, you know, a bunch of soldiers in the military. So this is kind of like, you know, I took one, one uh, course in professional communication. So that was the only thing I had to do with giving speeches. And I was glad that was over. <laughs> All right, I got to put on my glasses because I'm older than people think I am. So. All right, first of all, I would like to thank all the criminal justice faculty members at Hodges University who had the confidence in me to nominate me for this honorable award. Without the lectures and encouragements in the classroom, I would not be standing here today to receive this award. I would also like to thank all of the faculty members in other areas within Hodges University that also played a major role in me receiving this award, such as Dr. Marshall Brooks, Judas Fox, Jeff Mosier, and the criminal justice, Dr. Snurbush, Dr. Arway, and all other people that know who they are. I would also like to especially thank Reva Wharton for the help she gave me when the research paper were due, and numerous other facility, uh, faculty members that, that helped me along the way. We, we must always remember that we do not achieve such honors alone. There are always people along the way that made sure you get where you are, where I am standing today. I would also, also like to graduate, I mean congratulate all my peers for the accomplishment, their accomplishments in being selected as student of the year in their chosen career fields. It is an honor to be recognized as the Nicholas School of Professional Studies Criminal Justice Student of the Year for 2012. I feel so undeserving of such an honor, honorable award. The day I enrolled in Hodges University, my goal was simply to complete my bachelor's degree and move on to other endeavors. As I began my fundamental courses, I felt like the average student entering college, but little did I know I was not. I did not really apply myself in my fundamental classes and really did not see at the time how they would apply to my future education at Hodges University. Once I completed these fundamental courses, I began to understand why they were important as I began my core classes in criminal justice. Skills such as critical thinking, initiative, leadership ability, effective communication, and research ability became very important. These skills made, me learn, made learning very easy as I moved forward in my degree, excuse me, my degree program. Sometimes meeting deadlines for assignments were very demanding but I met the challenge and unknowingly had mastered these skills. My first two years at Hodges University will always be a, mem a memorable experience and I will treasure this award as one of my highest achievements. Um, I got a quote here from a William Feathers. 
Don't ask me who he is, but it was a good quote, okay, <laughs> that I knew I could use, and they always talk me in uh, professional communication, try to end your speech with a, you know, with a quote. <laughs> in education, it isn't how much you have committed to memory or even how much you know. It's being able to differentiate between what you do know and what you don't. It's knowing where to go to find out what you need to know, and it's knowing how to use the information you get. Again, I would like to thank everyone who had a role in me receiving Nicholas a Professional Studies Criminal Justice Student of the Year Award for 2012. Thank you. Last school, but certainly not the least, is the Fisher School of Technology, and we will begin with the Computer Information Technology Program. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's a great honor to be here today, and it's so inspiring every semester uh, or every year when we have these awards. We, the faculty, uh, tend to, when we're preparing to come to these, tend to think, oh, another function I have to go to. And then you get here and you get to see these smiling faces and hear these inspiring stories. And it is absolutely amazing what some people have gone through to get here today. The two students, I am Dr. Al Ball. I am the undergraduate program chair for the Fisher School of Technology. And I'll be awarding the Computer Information Technology Student of the Year Award as well as the Information Systems Management Student of the Year Award. First, let's start with the Computer Information Technology Award. This year's recipient of the CIT Student of the Year is Ms. Tammy Rose. Tammy began her studies here at Hodges in the summer of 2011. She is a single mother of three, part-time caretaker of her three-year-old granddaughter, a barber, a massage therapist, a volunteer for her local community, and a student leader here at Hodges. Specifically, Tammy is the president of the Fisher School of Technology Society, which I am very proud to say she was able to lead that organization to become the voted as the best uh, student organization at the, at the university. She was named student of the month in August 2012. She's also student of the Year for Leadership, the President's Award in 2012. Tammy currently maintains a 4.0 uh, grade point average. And she sa has said that the choices she made when she was younger caused her to have to set aside her personal goals for a number of years. She is grateful for Hodges University for affording her the opportunity to achieve her goals in the past. There are a myriad of accolades I can, could, could stand up here and continue to say about Tammy. But at this time, I'd like to say, Tammy, come up and receive your award. I am proud to have you as a student. And on behalf of the faculty at the Fisher School of Technology, we'd like to award you this honor. I'm extremely honored and blessed to be here today to receive this recognition. Never in my wildest dreams. Come here, Joey. Jocelyn. Jocelyn. That's my granddaughter. Never in my wildest dreams did I ever believe that I would be standing in front of a room of distinguished individuals receiving an academic award. I left high school one month before my 11th grade year was finished. I attempted college at 21 only to give up because I couldn't get through English comp. So for me to be standing up here today to be receiving this award is very, very, very important to me. It gives me the confidence that I need to know that I can go as far as, far as I would like to go. 
I could not have accomplished this measure of success without the love and encouragement from each and every one of you in this room. I would like to personally thank Dr. McMahon and Dr. Brock for choosing the perfect combination of staff and faculty to help all of the students here at Hodges. And I echo the sentiments when I say this is like a family and it makes it easier to accomplish the things we are trying to accomplish. Dr. Nelson and Dr. Ball, for all of your support when I doubted myself and for considering me worthy of this prestigious award. Molly Grubbs and Professor Gomez, for nominating me for Student of the Month. You both have become my very treasured friends of mine. The Academic Committee for making their nomination a reality. To all of my professors for instilling me the five educational outcomes that will ensure my success and giving me the encouragement to keep pursuing my goals. For my family for having the understanding and patience when I have limited time. Mr. and Mrs. Hodges, the staff and faculty, along with all of my fellow respected classmates, you have all become my extended family, and I love you all very much. I read this quote, and forgive me, professors, for not citing it. I could not find anything other than unknown. And it says, life is like a camera. Just focus on what's important. Capture the good times. Develop from the negative, and if things do not work out, just take another shot. Thank you all for being my treasured photograph in my extending, extended, expanding scrapbook of my life. Thank you. Well, I'm back for round two. And once again, on behalf of the faculty for the Fisher School of Technology, I'm very pleased to award Miss Lori Park the Information Systems Management Student of the Year. It was very interesting the comments that Dr. Wyatt made earlier because Lori is one of those students who the minute I walked into class with her the very first time, I knew that she was going to be challenging. And I don't mean that in a negative way. <laughs> Lori is an exemplary student who not only knew the theoretical side of the information technology that we were discussing at any given point in time, she had real world experience. So not only was I challenged frequently from her book learning, but I was also challenged from her real world practical hands-on experience. Lori, I can, again, I have a, a list of, of uh, accolades that I can stand up here and, and bestow upon her. She has attempted college several times, like many of you, uh, however, this time she is going to make it through. And on uh, one thing that I would like to point out with Lori is that she went the extra mile. She is an information systems management, and part of that program is there are no certifications as part of that program. However, Lori has obtained her A-plus as well as her net-plus uh, while attending Hodges, which is an e extremely uh, admirable uh, achievement. So at this time, I'd like to ask Lori to come forward and receive her award. Thank you, Dr. Ball. I'm thrilled to be here, honored that uh, I was chosen, and also I want to congratulate my fellow students for being nominated as well, and congratulations to you. I'd like to share this award because I certainly didn't do it all on my own. I have a network of people who have 
supported me and made this all possible. Without them, I just couldn't have done it. First, uh, I'd like to thank my employer, who I fortunately worked for a company that uh, cares about their employees, wants to see them grow, and, and they have supported me and encouraged me throughout this whole thing. I couldn't have done it without them, and uh, so I want to thank Pelican Wire for supporting me in that. Second, I'd like to uh, thank my fiance, and he has had to rearrange his life in order to, for me to accomplish my goals for the past three years, and I just, he's had to eat a lot of takeout and live in a dusty house, so <laughs> thank you, Mario. Third, I'd like to thank uh, my family my parents and my sister who've had to understand when I can only visit and schedule you in between semesters. And they've been very patient with me with that. And thank you to my family. And uh, fourth, I'd like to thank the amazing professors here who have managed to keep me uh, focused and enthusiastic, and uh, I've, I've just enjoyed every minute of the classes, and it's all because of their, them and their great teaching. And I wanted to thank the Hodges professors for that. Um, also, at Hodges, they have wonderful tutors and uh, counselors who I have used a lot, and they have really helped me through those hard semesters when you're thinking you're not going to make it. So uh, without them, without everyone, I wouldn't have done this. So I'm sharing this with all of you, and thank you. Good evening. Well, we're now in good evening. Uh, my name is Arthur Chip McElroy. I'm the Vice Chair of Digital Design and Graphics, and I'm extremely honored and excited to uh, name Herlin Henriquez our uh, very first Digital Design and Graphics Student of the Year for 2012. Uh, when I was going through the list of students that we have, uh, there were a few characteristics that I was looking for. Uh, very first was uh, passion for uh, design, and uh, in a world of visual communication where uh, your message is so very important. Uh, Herlin is a bilingual student, so uh, making his connection and his language connect to the audience uh, was a challenge for him, but he thrived in the environment uh, and did an outstanding job. Uh, he's extremely passionate. When I tell my students, don't fall in love with it, just get it done, because uh, us designers can work on things forever. Uh, he fell in love with it. Uh, he went above and beyond in the classroom. Uh, developing self-promotional pieces, putting together his own website, so he did fall in love with it. Uh, the second piece was uh, that he was uh, a good student, and uh, even in the online environment, uh, Herlin continued to push the envelope and push his classmates to get the most out of the content uh, that we were delivering, so uh, he really was a benchmark for the program as, uh, as he went through. And last but not least, when I was looking uh, for a student of the year, I wanted someone that went beyond the classroom. And uh, whether it was working for a nonprofit or if it was um, picking up some extra things in his projects to make them beyond just acceptable but make them ex exceptional, uh, Herlin did that as well. Uh, and I'm uh, extremely proud and excited to say that uh, he works part-time in the field now as well. So he not only uh, excelled and achieved in the classroom, he's now uh, following his dream as a uh, digital design and graphics. So without any further ado, uh, Herlin Henriquez. It's so hard, but I got it. Uh, for me, it's an honor to stand here today, you know. Um, I am also very happy to share this moment with my family and friends. Um, and I want to say thank you, everybody, that 
has helped me to achieve this. My wife, my two ninja boys, my mom, my dad, and Professor Michael Roy that support me through this course. Um, definitely, I want to say thank you to the staff and the personal school. Thank you all. Um, coming to this school and stay focused throughout this course and be able to graduate with honor is a testament that we can always uh, got it what we set out to do. Thank you very much. Good afternoon. Dr. Mike Nelson. I'm the Dean of the Fisher School of Technology. I'm also the Graduate Program Director. Um, it's my privilege today to present the 2012 Master of Information Systems Management Student of the Year Award to uh, Sandra Giroux. Now, we have specific criteria that we follow to identify candidates for the MIS Student of the Year, and it's always interesting to see how the voting goes. This is an all online program, and it's always interesting to see how different students make themselves stand out in the program. Sometimes it takes several rounds of voting to determine who our Student of the Year will be. Other times there's a runaway favorite right from the beginning, and that's the way it was this year, as Sandy was chosen in just a single round of voting by the Fisher School of Technology graduate faculty. Sandy jumps into everything with both feet. For online courses, she makes our job of, as professors much easier. We can always count on her to keep the discussion groups thoughtful, lively, and invigorating, not to mention educational, as we all learn something from her insightful input, and that includes her professors, as we also learn from her. When it comes to written assignments, more often than not, I could simply use, use her write-up as the answer key. Uh, and just as a quick note for my boss, Dr. Brock, I could, but I don't. <laughs> Back to Sandy, I often have students ask me about teaching after they have graduated, but it's not often that I find myself asking someone before graduation if they might be interested in teaching afterwards. If Sandy were to join our faculty, I believe that it would only be a matter of time before I would be introducing her as Professor of the Year. But let's stick to today's award and not get ahead of ourselves. So once again, it is my honor to present to you Sandra Giroux, the 2012 MIS Student of the Year. Thank you, Dr. Nelson. My sister got me into this. <laughs> she challenged me for quite a while to go back to school after 30 <clears throat> something years being out of school. And I finally agreed because I wanted to set myself up for an even better future when I decided that maybe I didn't want to travel quite so much as I am right now and I wanted to still participate and fulfill my dreams by helping others learn. I'm a speaker right now and I travel a lot and I love doing that. What I've learned here is showing me that I absolutely can do that in the future, but what shocked me to death was just how much what I'm learning now has started enriching my current life and career the second I started these studies. The program here is exceptional. It has added so much to my programs and to the things that I teach others. I cannot say thank you enough for the opportunity that you've afforded me here. And thank you so much for having the distance education program so I could do it because I could never attend classes every week because of my travels. You know, in my programs, I talk a lot about taking risk. Because if there's one thing that I've learned in life, it's that the risks you don't take very often cost you more than the risks you do. So I want to thank all my professors and Dr. Nelson for your incredible guidance. I want to thank my sister and her husband for pushing me to take the risk of making that first step. And I want to thank my husband of over 30 years for helping me take the rest of them as I finish up this degree. And now I will close because I will listen to the sage advice of my fellow speakers to always finish speaking 
before your audience is finished listening. Thank you. <laughs> Before we introduce the student of the year, I just want to say as the chief academic officer for Hodges University, I am so proud of all these students and the comments they have made. But I am also very proud of the faculty, so I would like to give both the students and the faculty a round of applause. Good afternoon, everyone. Yes, we're coming to the close of the program, the grand finale, what we've been waiting for all afternoon. I'm Dr. Marcia Turner, formerly Dr. Marcia Brooks, so she is one and the same, um, just like Jackie King going through those transitions with our name changes. But um, anyway, I am proud and pleased to be um, introducing the student of the year, the final student of the year, the overall the overall program student of the year. This recognition event is one of, the, one of my most favorite times of the year. This student of the year event is the time for the best of the best of our academic programs to be recognized. Each year I love this event that much more than the year before in that I get to know the students that much more and have had some kind of personal contact with a good amount of everyone. Dr. Harrison will be up here in a moment to introduce the major award for the day, the Student of the Year for 2012. Before she is, let me share with you the selection process of this award. The HU Student of the Year is chosen from the 12 students of the month. Nominations can be submitted by faculty, staff, colleagues, friends, and then these nominations are shared with the academic committee. The academic committee then chooses the monthly and then yearly winners. I will call the names of the students of the month for 2012. And those of you who are present, please stand. We wish to applaud you at the completion of this list. January, Jason Downs. February, Chad Bracken. March, Michael Larry Eaker. April, Jennifer Pretlow. May, David Fairman, June, Shauna McGraw, July, Donna Brock, August, Tammy Rose, Octo uh, September, Jody Vandeshoot, October, Faith Little, November, Kenneth Worthy, and December, Stephania Silva. Please give all of these students a round of applause. And now, if Dr. Harrison would please come to the podium for our Student of the Year. Well, as usual, I don't follow oh, directions right. well. <laughs> In June of last year, our Hodges University Student of the Year started his final steps on his journey to become a physician assistant. He will complete that journey in August of 2014. He will earn a Master's of Medical Science from Nova Southeastern University as a physician assistant and wants to practice emergency medicine. And given what just recently happened to him, that's probably a real good idea. Okay. For those of you who are not familiar with physician assistants training and what they can do, after they complete a hard-earned bachelor's degree in the health sciences. They do 27 months of intensive training so that they can diagnose, treat, and prescribe. Physician assistants are the future of health care, particularly primary care in this country. I'm so pleased that we were part of the journey for our student of the year. Michael Eckers started at Hodges in winter of 2010. He was determined, and as I soon found out, a great student. Professor Ann Mantell has this to say. Mike is one of the most enthusiastic students I have ever had the pleasure of teaching. He's great in her personal skills, which is a great plus in healthcare, and is a strong leader among his peers. 
He's been a student in two of my classes, and I found him to be a natural leader. Mike's totally engaged in the classroom, thinking and asking questions. He's always there to help others with notes, explaining difficult concepts, and is sharing helpful tricks to help them remember complex concepts. Having Mike in the lab is like having a teaching assistant. Teaching assistants? <laughs> Something we'd love to have. He's organized and helps any students who need it or students who are just a little uncomfortable in the lab. Mike was a paramedic and a firefighter in Michigan until he moved here um, four years ago. His daughter Jennifer and his wife Amberly are also here today to, to help recognize Mike. When Mike was in the process of earning his 3.9 GPA, he did have a B in organic chemistry. He was also an active participant in the Allied Health Club. He spent countless hours at the Harry Chapin Food Bank. He graduated from Hodges with a health studies degree in winter of 2012, and he started PA school, as I mentioned, in June of 2012. All the time he was here at Hodges, he worked either part or full time um, at an urgent care center. Mike mentioned to me recently that he wrestled in high school, and he has kept a commitment to staying healthy and strong. However, as a friend of his joked with him after finding out that Mike was bench pressing Malibus, it was time to take a break. Seriously, he was working on it. it's his wife's car, or should I say under the car, when the jack failed, which explains today why he's here on crutches. Please join me in honoring Mike Eckers as HE Student of the Year. have to try and hug me at this okay. point. And I do have your certificate, which I'll get for you. Okay. Let me get that real quick. One more, Joe. <laughs> I want to start off by uh, thanking each and every one of you for attending today, for all the recipients. Um, every one of you should feel honored for everything that we received. Um, I want to thank the academic committee um, because the student of the month is an honor on its own and then to be selected by you to be student of the year is a, a great honor. I want to individually thank some some people that were instrumental. Um, I already mentioned Mantel. She, uh, she told me my first class with her about halfway through the semester when I was doubting myself a little bit that I had what it takes. And it was, it was encouraging. And that's what I noticed with professors at Hodges, period, throughout. Even if I didn't have an individual for a class, they were all encouraging. Um, I'd also like to thank Professor Comer and Lydia Porter for nominating for Student of the Month. Um, they had some kind words. And Lydia had to deal with me a lot because doing a bachelor's in two years, there was a lot of struggling of classes <laughs> and flipping stuff around. So yeah, I was, I was seeing her quite often. Um, Dr. Harrison, I want to thank her for her structure. Um, you know, she keeps you in line. She really does. <laughs> so <laughs> um, another person I want to thank, and actually a, a whole department, um, individually, Dr. Marcia Turner now, and the student development area for putting up with me, because I think I was in there as much as I was ever in class, um, chatting their ears off. Um, last but not least, my family. They were the rock, um, emotional stability, motivation, and encouragement. And they still have to be, because now they get to wave through me to me through um, some glass and office doors, because I'm always so busy studying about 20 hours a day. So I just want to thank them and, uh, and, you know, keep trusting me, believe in me, because I'll get through this. And again, I want to thank each and every one of you for being here. And again, congratulations to all the recipients for their individual awards. You guys are all bright, intelligent people. And thank you for the professors and the faculty for standing by us and, and helping and encourage us, because your guys' strength has pushed me into a program that's very tough. And uh, without the the knowledge and the motivation that I've learned from Hodges, I don't know how I would get through it because it's very complicated during the day at, at PA school. And, and whoever is looking on that road, they'll find out that 
it's a chore, let me tell you. So a thank again, and I will cut it short so you guys can enjoy yourself. <laughs> To our students who received the awards tonight, I hope that you've enjoyed this recognition, that it is meaningful to you. For all of the rest of us, I can tell by our smiles that we were inspired uh, listening to you and appreciate uh, seeing you today. I especially want to say thank you to our Student Recognition Committee who worked hard to put this together for us. Dr. Marsha Turner is our chair. Uh, to Jeff Moser, who's sitting right here. Uh, Judith Fox, Molly Grubbs. Elena Capratori, you've been meeting them at the doors. They've been saying hello as you came in today. And we want to ask you uh, to join us still. We still have refreshments in, over here and a good chance for you to speak to our students. And inside the program, and it says, my final words that I'm to say, thank you for your attendance and support. <laughs> thank you for being